amazing. That's beautiful, Danielle. It's it is uh, it's, it ties in beautifully to a Bible verse. I thought would be really helpful. Whether you uh, are someone who believes in God, whether you're on some sort of journey, there's a great verse in Joshua one nine which says, "Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Don't be discouraged." I mean, read, side note: Don't doubt yourself, <laughs> because the Lord your God is with you. Wherever you go, whatever you think, whatever you're doing, no matter how much doubt you are having, he doesn't doubt you. He's got you. We just said, I wonder if Ariana Grande has self-doubt. And I Googled it and I found a quote from her going, insecurity slash self-doubt has been the hardest thing I've ever had to overcome. (laughs) She goes, everyone strives for approval and wants to feel loved. And now you look at someone like Ariana Grande, who's one of the most famous singers, beautiful, or got everything, looks like, again, struggling (laughs) with self-doubt. It blows my mind. But I know that that's what we look at all levels of people. I know people probably go, oh, Lucy looks really confident. She gets on air every day. She talks and talks and talks like she knows it all. And I am, I, I'm crippled with um, imposter syndrome, but it's something I'm really trying to work on. Yeah. And Michael in Croydon joins us for last calls this morning. Good morning, Michael. Oh, good morning. Let's chat, Michael. Self-doubt from a male perspective. I'm really interesting to uh, interested to hear about this. Okay. Well, look, I'm having a bit of self-doubt just ringing you guys. No. So I've never done this. Oh, no. Often, well, I'm no, so Michael, proud of you. Michael, I often remind people here in radio, because we forget sometimes, it's quite daunting yeah, ringing exactly. up a radio station and talking about your feelings. I so, love well it. Done, Michael. So proud of you, Michael. Yeah. Thank you. Now, look, I just wanted to say I was thinking about it, and I think the way the conversation's gone so far is that it's it's something that's, in you know, mainly negative. It's, it's not a, it's a problem we don't want. But... I was thinking maybe on the other side that it's it's very value it can be very valuable because yes. In a way, I'd rather be a little bit doubtful than be overconfident. Yes, I get you. Yeah, the opposite of no self-doubt yes, can is, be quite dangerous. It, 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 delusions of grandeur. Yeah. I agree, Michael. That's I right. understand what you're saying. Definitely. There's, like everything, there is a healthy balance needed of all things in life, right? Like we know that. Uh, and I, I agree with you. We need to have that part of our body and our brain which goes, okay, let me just question this. Can I do it better? Uh, you're right. We don't want to just be walking around going, I am God's <laughs> gift. <laughs> to everything I know everyone I must not question yep. um, Michael do you find yourself uh, finding that sweet spot of being able to not doubt yourself but also question yourself that now and then um, yeah I find for me it, it, it perhaps a, the way to deal with it is that you you acknowledge it you, you're trying to sit and, and reflect and say what am I doubtful about and let it kind of drive you towards God and to to bring what you're dealing with to God and seek the guidance there mm. and um, hopefully you can then overcome and sometimes you go back to the thing well you think well I'm, I'm a bit afraid but I'm going to do it anyway you know once you're in that position yes. where you want to take Feel a step forward and do it anyway and, uh, yeah, good, good yeah, one. Exactly. yeah Michael I want to applaud you too for calling up this morning being a man and talking Thank about you. how you're feeling really? because I know as a man it's in our <laughs> DNA often when we get around other men is to go front foot first show no fear yeah. show no problems oh, and yeah. uh, it's good oh, for good. guys to talk about the fact that we're not all perfect well there you done, go. Well done. I love that. I love that angle. That's right. really important, actually, to bring up that there, there, yeah, that it's there a, is a healthy <laughs> level to it all. It's a serious conversation we're having, and we're going to continue. But there's a bit of context. Yeah. <laughs> uh, earlier in the week, somebody texted through, yeah. and wanted to remain anonymous. Yes. And then this fun thing happened where Lucy started calling this person Agent Six. Five three because that was the last three numbers of her mobile number, and then I actually uncovered her name, and she was like, "Oh, but I like being yeah. known as Agent Six Five Three. So I don't think we're going to release no, the name. I won't say her name. Right. We'll just call her Agent Six Five Three. She joins Ladies us. I'm so excited you're ringing everybody. in, Agent Six Five Three. Welcome aboard, Agent Six Five Three. Good morning, HQ. <laughs> HQ, I love it. Yes. Let's, I want this to happen forever now, Agent Six Five Three. It will happen right. forever. Uh, Agent, tell me a little bit about self doubt in your life. Well, just in from the reports I've received, HQ. <laughs> um, sorry, I won't do this anymore. Um, yeah, I think that we're all born with self-doubt um, because of original sin. And I know that a lot of the listeners may not necessarily subscribe to the Christian view, but mm. I am a Christian and I believe that we are born with original sin. And I think that part of that is, is going to plague us with self-doubt. But I think it's really important to be authentic and humble um, because people can smell um, like unauthenticity a mm. mile away, yeah. and that just distances distances you from community, which can help you overcome your insecurities. Yeah. Um, so I think it's really important sometimes because people will say things to us, and 
unnerve us, but it's important to reflect and go, well, is there truth in what they're saying? And if there is, to humbly go before God and sort it out. And then like, if there's something you've done to offend someone else or whatever, apologise. For sure. Yeah. But I think one of the loudest voices is not the external, it's the internal voice. It's our internal messaging. Um, and that's where I struggle is that internal voice uh, as opposed to the external voices. And I think that's where I was doing a little tiny bit of research over the break about how do we overcome self-doubt? And one of the biggest things you can do uh, and we should get Dr. Jody on. In fact, we spoke a little bit about this on Wednesday with Dr. Jody. And actually, if you want to download Dr. Jody's podcast this week, it is about compassion-based therapy. Mm. And they say one of the best things for self-doubt and critical thinking, uh, like self-criticizing thinking, is practicing self-compassion and looking in that mirror and loving what you see and loving who you are and being so kind to yourself. And that really helps with that critical voice. Thank you, Agent 653. Thank you so much. And I love the fact, yes, we have a huge amount of people that tune into 89.9 The Light that don't have any faith mm. or maybe have questions about their faith. And I think the original sin idea is maybe best described as a lot of us have that nagging feeling mm. that we're not perfect mm. and that there are a <laughs> few things wrong with us. And that's, that's normal. Yeah. It's normal to have. But when that tips into, oh, maybe nothing about me is right. Uh, that's where it gets. And a if it holds you back and yeah. limits you in what you can do and be in, even in God, is that's really sad. We don't want that. We want to all thrive. We don't want to be held back by our perceived limitations, which are lies, right? Well, there are lies, and we, we we've got to stop believing that. Thank you, Agent Six Five Three. Goodbye. We'll, we'll she see disappears you. in a cloud of smoke. When, when next, when next, we're around the drop box. When we get notification of another mission that you're on we'll we'll catch up <laughs> uh, we've got to get to uh, some sponsorship announcements and the traffic but we so many calls and last calls about self-doubt loose we'll continue yeah. with those next and maybe some text messages as well here on the light lucy and kel for breakfast oh, lucy. Hey. <laughs> juliana says lucy you have inspired me in particular over the last few years i remember when a few years back you talked about looking in the mirror saying i am enough mm. i've taken this on board along with the way you never apologize for who you are. I take this as a positive, self-esteem building move in which I am learning to accept who I am and that I can be happy with myself and embrace who I am and not feel the need to hide or reduce myself in front of others. Thank you to yourself and that other guy you work with <laughs> for your wonderful work on the radio. Oh, Juliana, that is Juliana? beautiful. I'm going to print that out and pop that on my desk, Juliana. That is very, very, very well, special. We, we talked about cheerleading as well. If you're having struggling with, you know, the negative talk and the self-doubt, uh, yeah. often you're very good at being a cheerleader for other members of oh, your yeah. family and friends and I can, stuff like I'd that. I cheer on everyone. It's just the, the loose, the, the old looster needs a bit of work. But um, I do I do remember talking about that, Julia, uh, Juliana, looking in the mirror going, I am enough. And there's a few other little things. The self-compassion we talked about earlier. Uh, also talking to yourself like you would talk to your best friend, which is often the very opposite. We talk to our best friends so kind. We tell our best friends, you go, girl, you can do anything. I got your back. Uh, and we need to do that to ourselves. And a little third thing that I've been doing recently, and I hope it helps someone out there, um, is uh, you can change your lock screen on your phone or you can print a photo of yourself, a cute little baby photo of yourself. I've got a gorgeous photo of me at about age four. She's got curly blonde hair and she's sitting next to some roller sk skates and you look at that little girl or the little boy and you speak to yourself with such love and compassion that you would speak to that child and you do it today because you're the same person. You're just 40 five years older um, treat yourself like you treat that little tiny kid they're all really helpful and of course like we said Dr. Jody's podcast about anxiety is a great place to start this episode this week exactly about this totally stuff. which is crazy and also those bible verses we spoke about earlier about uh, doubting yourself uh, we're told God says hey don't don't need to. Don't be afraid. Don't be discouraged. And, and remember that he doesn't call the qualified. He qualifies the call, meaning that whatever he takes you into, you are enough to do that. He'll grow you through that as well. So again, last thing I want to say, if you are struggling again this morning and like, I'd like to talk about this a bit more, you can always ring our care line and chat to them about this as well on 9583 care. It has been a great, great show. If you missed out on our hour long chat about self-doubt, and how to overcome it. Uh, we'll make sure we get a lot of that up on the website. We'll get the full interview up on the website and uh, on the socials as well because uh, a lot of us battle with it. And you know what? Knowledge is power. When we know more, when we're willing to do the hard work and try and unpack some of this, we can see great change in our lives. So we'll make sure we get that up for you.